So, it begins. Game one, week one, one pride, we're back in the den. We're playing against the Atlanta Falcons tonight. And we got a lot of names to look forward to watch in tonight's matchup. Uh, man, <laughs> we have so many storylines to start with and go with. But there's one main storyline that I'm really, really interested in talking about. And that storyline that I'm really, really interested in talking about is how well does Jared Goff go from here? What can Jared Goff do to stay in Detroit? Will he be great? Will he have a bad season? We don't know. We do not know. I mean, with the weapons that he have on offense, DJ Chark, Josh Reynolds, TJ Hawkinson, Amos St. Brown, Cephas, and our 12th pick, J-Mo, Jamison Williams. He's a beast out of Alabama. But nevertheless, with those kind of weapons, Jared Goff should perform at a high level. We want to see the L.A. Rams Jared Goff. We don't want to see a sloppy Jared Goff. We want to see a great, well-performed Jared Goff take this team to higher heights. Now I know the playoffs are a huge thing to talk about. And I know Super Bowl is going way too far. But a quarterback like him, he's been in the Super Bowl. He's played on a great team. And not only he's played on a great team, but he had a fantastic offensive line. He had a Wide receiving core that was out of this world. And he had a running game that could really, really rack up numbers and get your first downs at the first downs and then put points on the board. Run game for this team has been a problem. We haven't had a healthy running back or a healthy running game in a long, long time. But with a healthy running game and with this wide receiving core that he has, sky is the limit for Jared Goff, man. I don't got to tell you the numbers to tell you because the numbers say itself. Last year, he had a little 50-50 here and there, but at the end of it, he was firing on all cylinders. And I love the fact that he was playing good in the second half, second half of the season. But tonight's game against the Atlanta Fal Falcons, I think tonight he's going to start off hot with at least two touchdowns. At least two. Starters are going to probably play one quarter. And I, and I, and I know two, two touchdowns is pretty far-fetched. But nevertheless, we want to see how well he does in the first quarter. And uh, starters being out there for the first quarter is a pretty damn good thing because you want to see your starters rest at three quarters at the helm. You want to keep them all healthy and ready to go by week one because week one, we're playing against the Philadelphia Eagles. But tonight... It's week one, preseason game number one at Ford Field in our domain, and we're playing against the Falcons. And to all the young, talented players out there, UDFAs, draftees, play a hell of a game tonight. Play a hell of a game tonight and showcase why you belong on the roster. Because if you don't, it's going to be other guys who are going to step up at the helm and take your spot. So go out there and motivate yourself and have a hell of a game. It's a 60-minute game. Don't waste your time out there. Play like you really want to play and play like you're having fun out there and win games. Win games. Win or lose in preseason, it doesn't matter. But winning is at a all time high for this city, for this franchise, and for, you know, the front office. It's an all time high. It's an all time high for all of us. And um, I really believe that from this game going forward, we're going to try to attack. The defense. So we're going to try to not only attack the defense, but we're going to try to attack at other things that we need to address. You know, opponents have weaknesses. It could be defense, special teams, offense. It could be a lot of things that we need to attack against our opponents. Our opponents know as well.
They do. They know if we're if we're weak at defense. They know if we're weak at offense. They know if we're weak at at special teams. They know those things. But O and D, offense and defense, is going to strength the numbers up better than what we had last year. So O and D, go out there and have fun and play hard and have fun and, and get this victory started because we want to go on a victory tr- victory train, man. I was thinking of a victory lap, but necessarily I think we need to go on a victory train and start tonight with a W, man. Um, We have big games coming up. We have big, big games coming up that we have to, you know, look forward to. But tonight we have to make sure that we start with the Falcons and, you know, dominate tonight. And also, post game tomorrow, I'm going to give you my top three players, my top three players out of this game, Falcons-Lions game, and I'm going to tell you who those names are at the end of this very game as I watch tonight and as I keep my antennas on. So I want you to like, share, subscribe to Chicken Nugget King 5A6 and get ready for an all-time experience of Lions games, post-game coverage, um, my thoughts on the upcoming week, weeks and days and and games be prepared for that because we're going to go on a journey ride and believe me if you thought if you thought my reaction video to us beating the Minnesota Vikings was something else wait until you see more of the reactions more of the post game thoughts going into this season cuz i got a lot more up my sleeve that i really want to say and address so make sure you like share subscribe And holla at your boy, Chicken Nugget King, 586. I'm out.